Hello art friends, Dr. Beck here. Welcome to Art Ways Where Learning is Fun. Today we're going to be drawing a colorful elephant and what you're going to need is a paper and pencil and eraser. If you have a sharpie, maybe a thin one as well, not a black pencil will do, some colored pencils and then if you have some watercolor, I'm going to show you how to do a little crayon resist with crayons and that. You need a brush as well. Let's start our elephant. As always, I sketch it out lightly beforehand, and I tell you, if you need to pause along the way, please do. I'm going to be working with a thick and a thin Sharpie. We're going to come about a third of the way down, and I want to put in two eyes. Now, from the corner of the eye, we're going to come down like that. And from the corner of this eye, we're going to do the same. But we're going to come lower and loop it up. I'm going to make the tip of the elephant's nose trunk. Next, I'd like to come to the side of the eye and make a little dip like this and a little dip like this. So it's pretty even on both sides. And then come right about here and come up and meet that line. Come across, come up and meet that line. Next, I want to come up and make this line coming up like this and this line up like this. Leave that for now. I'm going to put the tusks in right here. I'm going to come down one, I'm going to come down two. I'm going to make an arc going up like that and like that. Here comes the tusk, here comes the tusk, and here comes this side. Put a little under the tusk here, under the tusk there. The top of the head, I'm going to have a few little waves on it like that. And now let's get these nice big ears in, right off the page. And because we're going to make this a decorative elephant, I'm going to put that ear in like this. And then I'd like to get him the same height, so I'm going to just go right along there. And I'm going to give myself areas to make designs in his ears. So I'm going to go one, two, and this I'm using my larger Sharpie for. And then try to do the same number on this side. Now I'm going to switch over to my thinner Sharpie. And for the thinner Sharpie, I want to get the creases in the elephant's nose. I didn't want to use the big Sharpie for this one. And go right up to the forehead, just like this. Mm -hmm. 
erase all your pencil lines. to color in the tusks first and for this project I'm going to be using colored pencil crayon and if you could get your hand on some watercolor some black watercolor I think I'll show you a really cool crayon resist trick up in the ears but for the tusks and the trunk I'm going to use colored pencil Give it a little shadow on the edge. And now for this entire middle section, just have some fun with color. Now that I finished the colored pencil, I'm going to do the crayon resist, making patterns in the ear with crayon pressing firmly and then using watercolor, black watercolor over the crayon. If you do not have any watercolors, just color in, have fun, but make patterns. And what I like to do is create the pattern on one side and then repeat it on the other. So if you do have watercolor, draw your patterns in some nice bright colors and press firmly with your crayon. And what I do on one side, I do on the other. Now that I did all my patterns in crayon, if you don't have watercolor, you could just color the background in any color you want. You can make the patterns any color you want. But if you have watercolor, you're going to paint right over all of this crayon. The crayon is wax, therefore it resists the paint and it maintains this beautiful design. And then you put a color right over that. In this case, I'm using a nice dark black. You could use any color you want over this. Don't make it too wet and don't make it too dry. Just the right amount of water. Be careful near your edges. Thank 
thank you for visiting Art Ways because there are so many ways to use art. I hope everybody enjoyed drawing and painting in their colorful elephant. Don't forget, be smart, include art. See you next time.